The lawsuits facing the city of Detroit for wrongful convictions have been described as a tsunami that is already in the millions. The city has even called on outside law firms to help them fight the cases, many of which end up being settled out of court. Some of the mostly costly ones are from men who spent decades in prison and are now exonerated or those who were found to have been wrongly convicted by Wayne County's Conviction Integrity Unit. And that's why some believe the city is trying to undermine the integrity of the CIU. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig took a look at what's at stake for both sides. They withheld evidence, they suborned perjury, they used false witnesses, and yet the only thing we can do is sue them, and they're trying to remove that right from us as well. Daryl Siggers is one of 34 men the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office Conviction Integrity Unit has asked the judge to release from prison after investigating their claim of innocence, determining they were wrongfully convicted. I served 34 years in prison for a crime I didn't commit. Siggers is currently one of over a dozen former prisoners suing the city of Detroit. And because tens of millions of dollars are on the line, some believe the city of Detroit is trying to fight the lawsuits by undermining the work of the CIU. Here it is, they gave me the Spirit of Detroit Award, and yet on the other hand, they pat me on the back and said, listen man, we're sorry, and they apologized to all of us, handed us the award, but on the backside, they're paying these lawyers to defend vigorously against our lawsuits, and they're doing, they're pulling out every stop. Sigurd's attorney, Wolf Mueller. The city is only pushing back against the CIU to discredit the CIU for one reason, to win a lawsuit, to protect themselves and save money. That's it. In the last seven years, the city of Detroit has paid out about $40 million in lawsuits involving the police department, mostly tied to 2001 cases. And the largest payouts are in cases where it was determined someone was wrongfully convicted of murder. The bad news is that we are, you know, having these, uh, I call them reverse conviction cases. Some people call them wrongful incarceration. I call them reverse convictions because it's not always at all clear that there was a wrongful incarceration. That city attorney Charles Ramey addressing the Detroit Board of Police Commissioners in late March. What is clear is that somebody at the prosecutor's office has decided to reverse the conviction, which uh, is, uh, and, and uh, I'm speaking in public, so I just want to, be a little careful, but um, we have significant concerns about some of the decisions made to reverse those convictions. I can assure you the phrase reversed conviction is a marketing ploy. It's designed to try to get the public and the commissioners to, to believe that these weren't wrongful convictions. The city's top attorney, Conrad Mallett, told me by phone that they have great faith and respect for the prosecutor's office and the Conviction Integrity Unit, and that they also have a responsibility to taxpayers to examine each case carefully to be sure that they agree with the conclusion reached by the CIU. I'm praying to God that they really look over my brother's case for him to come home. April Jordan says the CIU is her family's last hope of seeing her brother Clyde Jordan walk out of prison, claiming evidence that could have cleared him was never introduced at trial. I'm not the only one begging and pleading for y'all help. It's some of everybody out here that got loved ones locked up that don't even supposed to be locked up. The city of Detroit needs to get their heads around the fact that they need to be business people to get these cases resolved. Because all it's gonna take is one case for 100 or more million dollars and the city is gonna be turned upside down. They try to do anything they can to stop this process, thereby the city of Detroit does not have to take responsibility for representing what, for what these crooked cops have done. And this is one of the reasons why they're trying to do everything they can to undermine the CIU. In Detroit, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Thank you so much, Kim, for that report.